Hi, I'm Arthur. And I'm Andrea. And we are Heavy, Heavy Metal, Metal Beer, Beer Club. Club. And today we are going to talk about Harb Bottle Brewing Company from Tucson, Arizona. Now, we didn't plan on doing a show today. We just ventured out to go taste some beer and decided to go to Harb Bottle Brewing Company because we love their beers. And when we got there, we got the camera going. And then uh, Andrea went in and talked to Mike, the owner and also brewer. So he spoke with us and told us a little about the beer and the brewery and what he, what he's all about. And we'll share that with you today. And Mike is a metalhead at heart, so we had a lot to talk about. So this will be a lot of fun. And like I said, this was an impromptu uh, show. I was going to say session. This was an impromptu show. So our audio is uh, we recorded outside. So bear with us. Stick around. It's going to be fun. And music. So here we are at Har Bottle, and we're going to taste Har Bottle's flagship IPA. Har Bottle IPA. Yeah, we're having the Har Bottle IPA, which is a 6.3 alcohol by volume. Yep. And uh, as you can see, I'm oh, already tasting. Nice golden color. Yeah, she I already. I can't wait. She already dug into it really good. It's warm out here in Tucson, Arizona. Yeah, just a bit toasty, but uh, I love it. Yeah, and you don't like the to scent eat. is so fresh. And fruity. Yeah, it's, give it up. It tastes, oh, it tastes so good already, I'll tell you. But <laughs> the smell is just fantastic. You know it's gonna taste good. Oh yeah, very nice fresh scent. Floral, kind of, you know. Nothing like freshly poured. Yeah. I mean, having it just like this right from the yeah. microbrewery is uh, just that's the way to drink the beer. Yeah, fresh from the taps. So when you go to a tap house or a brewery, get whatever they got. Fresh. Always a good thing. No, I went I went ahead of you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> nice and hoppy, the balance with the fruit and the hops, it's so good. Yeah, nicely hoppy. A really nice uh, bitter taste to it. Yeah. It's delicious. No wonder it's one of it's their flagship beer because it's so good. Yeah. It's um very floral mm -hmm. also. So this is clear in color. It'd be a nice West Coast <laughs> IPA for you. So it's got a good mouthfeel. Yeah, it's, I would say it's light yeah, to medium mouthfeel. It's light to medium. Really fresh. You can they they're so good with blending their flavors here and they put a lot of efforts into it. You can tell when you taste it. A lot of pride in this brewery. I'm getting slight tangerine out of it. What about yeah. you? Yeah, tangerine. Maybe a little peach on it as well. I'm getting a little bit of, uh, now that it's opening up a bit, I'm getting some, some caramel. You got like kind of a, a light caramel finish. I'm not getting any caramel. It's not overly hoppy though. It's it's very nice. It's very nice. It's got a little bit of pine on it. It's nice. I love it. Who doesn't want to drink a little bit of pine? Middle of summer, Tucson. Really, you're getting piney out of it. Yeah. Oh, see, I'm not. I'm not getting piney out of it. I am. Yeah. If you come to Tucson, Arizona, come to Har Bottle. This is a great place. Great brewery. Great vibe. Great owner. Work all the staff. It's a very comfortable place to be. Okay, so here we are with the owner and brewer of Har Bottle in Tucson, Arizona, Mike. Thanks for being here, Mike, and no, letting us come in and drink yeah, your beer. Thanks for coming in, guys. You guys are awesome for stopping by. You guys have been. Uh, uh, pretty awesome customers, for sure. Oh, right. <laughs> so did you start off as a home brewer? Was that your? I did, yeah. I started off uh, probably about 15 years ago. Um, I was living with my girlfriend at the time, and we were watching a documentary on, on brewing beer, and I made some offhand comment to her that, oh, that looks really cool. Like, I could love to do that. I didn't even like beer at the time. Oh, wow. Um, not at all. Uh, and she bought me a really nice homebrew kit, um, and I... I instantly was hooked. The first time we ever brewed a batch of beer, I had the most fun I ever had. And the first time we ever sat in my backyard, probably, you know, 
three, four weeks later, and cracked open a bottle and poured it into a glass. I, I looked at my wife and my girlfriend back then and said, this is the rest of my life. And I jumped in with both feet. Everything I did was wow. beer related. Quit my good job and got a job working in the craft beer industry. How and awesome. And you married her too. And I married her too. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so honestly, uh, it's it's once I started brewing beer, I never looked back and this is all I ever wanted. So it's a lot of fun. That's a yeah. great story. Thanks. Now we brought. We were talking about. I remember the one of the first times I came in. I saw the Nigel Tuff mill. Yes. Now did you? Was that? Did you name that? Yeah. So did your Spinal Tap fan. Yeah, big Spinal Tap fan. Oh, we actually had plans to do a huge like Spinal Tap series of beers. Um, the Nigel Tufnell, uh which was our ESB. Uh, then we had, we're going to do uh, Smell the Glove, which is an Imperial Stout. Oh, <laughs> oh man! Um, awesome. a, a couple, yeah. a couple different. We're going to do actually a. A bacon stout. I was gonna be Sir Eaton Hog. Oh. <laughs> so we, we had a bunch. We also yeah we added an English IPA that was gonna be St. Hubbins, the David St. Hubbins. Oh. Yeah. Our plan was to do that and then uh, partner up with like uh, a custom film bar or something like that yeah. and, and, and do a Spinal Tap takeover oh and have all of our Spinal gosh. Tap beers on tap while yeah. while watching the movies. That was kind of one of the so you you have cans out as well. We do have cans. Yeah, we currently have seven beers in cans. Um, Three of them are our flagships, the Hard Bottle IPA, the Easy Going uh, German style Kolsch, and then we have a Arnold's Baja Santo, which is kind of based on a, a Mexican amber lager. Uh, but we just recently uh, canned up our uh, Czech style Pilsner, we have a sour stout with cherries, we have a black IPA, and a uh, oat and rye stout, uh, cleverly named oat and rye stout. Oh, and I think that's. It? Is that seven? I think so. Like, could be missing one. I'm not six sure. Six or seven. That's six or seven. But yeah, we have seven beers currently uh, in cans. Oh, okay. Uh, cool. in, in on taps, how many taps do you? Do you oh, we have, we have ten. Basis? We have ten taps. Ten taps. Um, yeah. Once in a while, if we happen to run out of one of our beers, we always love bringing on one of the local breweries. Um, we like to support each other, so we always have. If we happen to run out, we'll bring in like Moto Sonora or Button or Nineteen Twelve or oh, Copper Mine. Nice. One, one of our neighbors. That is know, so cool. And try we and love support that them, have camaraderie that you guys support yeah. each other. It's just that's Tucson, Arizona yeah. too. Yeah. They've all I done don't the know same. if they do that everywhere. Yeah, I've, I've gotten calls from Alan at Nineteen Twelve, being like, "Hey, you know, can I have your brown ale? I need, you know, I need something malty to fill my taps." He didn't have anything. Wow. Uh, I know for a long time, Button Brew House had our cans in their. Uh, actually, so did 1912. So, you know, yeah, we do love to support each other. That's sure. awesome. Yeah. That's the way it should be. Hell yeah. And See, then the, happiness and beer. Are you a yeah. metal guy? Are you like... Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, I, I, I played I played in metal bands. I mean, I picked up a guitar probably about 12 or 13 years old. Oh, uh, nice. Obviously to impress a girl. Ah. <laughs> uh, and quickly got into playing in metal bands all through, all through high school and after. Uh, I probably stopped playing. I think the last show I ever played uh, it was 2008 actually. I kind of oh, wow. kind of hung it up, and, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. Played in a lot of really really awesome metal bands in Tucson for sure. Got to play a lot of really awesome shows with other great bands. So. Cool. Yeah, definitely a metal head at heart. All right. Oh, you you we knew we loved you. Uh, well, I'm still old school, so I still listen to a lot of uh, Metallica, old Metallica, anything pre Black Album. Oh, I really, I really do love Seven yeah. Dust. Tool is probably my all time favorite band. Oh. Okay. Uh, any, anything Maynard touches, I love. Uh, so Pussifer, Tool, Perfect Circle, absolutely. Oh, nice, uh, nice. But yeah, I tend to, I tend to lean more towards the old, like '80s, like speed metal. Okay. And um, yep. my my roots are really kind of like set in the '80s hair metal. Oh and yeah. When, 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 when guitars were kind of like the yes. forefront, everyone knew the guitar guitar player's name. Oh, but we're totally. You couldn't tell who the, who the lead singer was. Happening. And then you have that that sour that's called the Drop Two. Drop Two. Is that yeah? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, a music reference. Uh, and we, we, were, we were making that beer, and uh, it, the reference kind of came around. I was talking to a buddy about it, and. You know, when you, when you play in a, like a drop tune, like drop D or yeah, something like that, yeah. usually shit's about to get like real heavy, real dark, <laughs> yeah. real, real badass all of a sudden. Yeah. And so uh, we were making this beer and it was just like, it's a crazy beer, you know, it's a stout, it's sour, it's got cherries and vanilla. It's just like, We've here, tried it. it's, it's like, good. here, hold my beer, you know, this shit's about to get real. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> so that was kind of, uh, you know, it just drop tune just kind of hit me with that one. It was That's like, a yeah, perfect this, name. yeah, so it's a really cool beer. It's going to be a seasonal for sure. Uh, we're just about out of it. 
We're on our last keg of it right now, and the last few cases of beer wow. uh, in cans. But we're, we're going to bring that one back. It's, it's nice. good. We try it. It's yeah. good. Every time you were naming a beer and I was going like this, I'm like, tried it, tried it, <laughs> yeah. liked it. <laughs> and so do you brew here? Do you have we brew everything on setup? Yeah. everything on site. Yeah, we have a, a seven barrel direct fire brew house. Uh, we're just running two bright tanks and five uh, fermenters. We actually bought. Uh, a Fates old brew system up in Scottsdale. Oh, so the, okay. the last day they were Fate Brewing Company, we went up there, bought it off Steam and Fate. And then uh, now they're, they're actually Fate again. But they, so they went oh. back from Fate to make Fate and Fate. Uh, so I don't know what you want to call them, but they're always Fate to me. And uh, we bought their old system when they upgraded to a 30 barrel, I think. We bought their 7 barrel off of them. And we were brewed on that and then on, on site. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Feet away. I love that. Fantastic. You gotta love that. Yeah. When everything's brewed on site, it can't get fresher than that. No. We we tried your pilsner the day you opened it up. Yeah. And it is that good. Well, you guys tried it before it was even ready. Didn't yeah. You? Oh yeah. 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 It, it right. was still it was still yeah. in the fermenter. Yeah. 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 This is one thing I love to do. I get excited about beer. People are here. I'm like, oh, we gotta try this. Oh. oh that's use awesome. your imagination. You know, it's cloudy. It's flat. It's warm. But <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah we, it's kind of like the pre that mix, in you know, when you're doing a demo tape. Yeah, exactly. It's like, just think about it, this is the rough draft. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's always fun to see, you know, how the beers progress. So, yeah. you know, we're tasting beer every step of the way, every day, every morning. We're, we're checking around, he's tasting cool. the beer, we're making sure it's, you know, progressing the way we want it to be. So, after time, you really get good at imagining where it's going as well. Yeah. So some people go, that's disgusting. And I'm like, no, that's you great. Know. It's going to be great. Yeah. You know, it's yeasty, it's weird, it's bitter and harsh. Yeah. but. That's, I yeah. love that. Now that's oh, a fun job. So fun. It is a fun job. Yeah. Well, thanks, Mike, for being here today no, thank you on guys. Heavy Metal Beer Club. Yeah. See, you come to the local <laughs> breweries, you get to meet these cool. You get to meet the owner and brewer that are here, and it's just an awesome experience. So get out, get to your local breweries, and give them some business. Now that you can come out, if you've, you know, I always say that if you've had your vaccine, you really don't have to worry. I know it's not for everyone, but hey, it is for me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's am. such a bummer that uh, during the COVID time, we lost a couple of our microbreweries. So it's really nice that the ones that did survive, yeah, please get out and definitely support your uh, local breweries and uh, the beer culture. And don't forget about your beer tenders. Here I am. And don't forget to tip your beer tenders. Don't forget to tip <laughs> your beer tenders. Thank you so much for your continued support. We really appreciate it. And cheers to you. If you ever have a brewery to recommend in your neck of the woods, let us know because we will be traveling more as time goes on. Oh, uh, Let yeah. us know. Yeah. Send us a message. Yeah. And thank you so much for joining us here at Heavy, Heavy Metal, Metal Beer, Beer Club. Club. Please stay safe, drink responsibly, responsibly and, and don't, don't forget, forget to stay metal. metal. And you know what's funny? Because this is the first beer that we're having. And lots of times people ask, how many drinks did you guys have beforehand? And I'll tell them, no, we're just that goofy. <laughs> We didn't have any drinks before. Yeah, you tell him I am. And, and this That's is true. this is a case also. <laughs>